I really appreciate it. Thank you. Concerns the Iran nuke deal could actually lead to a new and very quick nuclear arms race in the Middle East are growing. On this show yesterday, the founding director, the, the founding director of the CIA's counterintelligence, counterterrorism center, rather, told us those fears may already be true. Take a listen. Saudis already have the bomb. But people fail to remember. Let me, hold, hold on a second, Mr. Clare. Let me just emphasize that point, because uh, that's, that's an important point. You say Saudi Arabia already has a oh. nuclear bomb? Oh, several. Republican Congressman from New York, Lee Zeldin, has been fighting this deal. Uh, Congressman, welcome to the show. Uh, the the idea you. that uh, everyone said this, it was the warning, it was out there for everyone. Listen, if you give the uh, Iran the, the actual now countdown to the eventual uh, creation of nuclear weapons, that it, it would obviously spark a, a Middle East arms race. But before we get into that, what about the notion that perhaps Saudi Arabia either already possesses nuclear weapons or just has to make a phone call to Pakistan because that was a prearranged deal? I think the point with regards to Pakistan is the most significant. Uh, I don't have confirmation that Saudi Arabia actually has a nuclear bomb within their borders. Uh, they, they certainly do have a special relationship with Pakistan. I, is it possible that they might have been involved in the development of Pakistan's nuclear weapons program in exchange for having access uh, for one themselves if necessary? That's possible. I, we also know that uh, the threat was certainly existent throughout the Iran nuclear talks, uh, that this would trigger a nuclear arms race in the Middle East. The irony of the president saying that the only alternative to whatever he agrees to is war uh, is that he's actually paving the path to instability with this new agreement. Well, here's the thing, though. Uh, in his press conference, he challenged on more than one occasion, if anyone out there thinks that there was an alternative, he's, he painted a world where there are only two choices, nuclear war or some kind of war right now, rather, with Iran or slowing up this program. What do Republicans do? What, what was the counter argument there that the president, what was the other alternative he didn't choose? The, the president was saying it like it was a rhetorical question where there wasn't an answer. The fact is there was another alternative, and that's a better deal. Just take everything that wasn't even part of the negotiations. Iran is working to overthrow foreign governments, financing terror, developing ICBMs, unjustly imprisoning United States citizens. They pledged to wipe Israel off the map. They blow up mock U.S. warships and uh, chant death to America, death to America in their streets. Uh, the president w was on uh, in the White House Tuesday morning saying, using the terms 24-7, anytime, anywhere, inspections, uh, even though the substance of the deal itself has a very convoluted process that isn't anytime, anywhere, inspections and weapons at, uh, uh, access. Right. So when you look at everything that wasn't unless, even part of the deal. Unless you consider three weeks and three days, anytime, anywhere. Congressman Zeldin, yep. thank you very much. we got to go. Appreciate you coming on.